Today is going to be one of our favorite days of all time. My dreams are coming true today. We are doing a wine tasting and food experience in Tuscany, Italy. I mean, doesn't it get better than that? I don't think so. Jenny's been dreaming of this moment for so long. And so right now we are standing on the side of the road because we're waiting at a bus stop to go to the winery. Hopefully the bus shows up. If it doesn't, I will cry for a long time. Honestly, my main goal today is to not get any red wine on my dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good goal. I'm not sure it'll happen, but here's to hoping. We have made it now that we got the whole bus thing all sorted out and we're here. Now I feel like I'm actually really, really, really excited. I was already excited, but there is a chance that it wouldn't work out, but it worked out. We're doing our fanciest activity in a long, long time. And so it's just kind of funny for me that we're, we took the bus to get here, but it was a really uh, affordable way to get here. Only like $3, three, $4. And so that was really cool. And now we're about to go get some wine and taste it and get some lunch too. We got to the winery a little bit early just because that's what time the bus got in. So we have 45 minutes to just walk around and check out the place before our meal starts. Every single corner is like a new photo stop, a new place where we're like, oh my gosh, we have to film this. The trees are beautiful. The like stone architecture is beautiful. I just, I'm having the best time already. And we haven't even had any wine yet. So it's only gonna get better from here. So you can't actually stay at this place too. It's called the wine resort, uh, but we're not fancy enough for that. But we did pick like the fanciest wine tour. So we get like a five course meal and like six wines I think to try. So we definitely splurged a little bit, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Oh my gosh. Did you see that bee? <laughs> that was crazy. Hey, our place that we're staying is really nice and we love it, but this place, this is something else. Apparently there's a Roman road, it says right there in the sign. Other people were talking about it and they're like, this is a Roman road, wanna check it out? Like, that's crazy if it's true, because that's like 2,000 years old. I was going to say, I wonder if this is like legit. That would be crazy. I mean, maybe it does look a little bit old, but everything kind of does, so I don't know. And since we already explored down there and we still have like 15 minutes, we are going to start with an aperitivo. Two for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, they're both mine. Cheers. If this is your first time watching a video in Italy or us in Italy, you are traditionally supposed to get aperitivos to open your appetite. And since we're about to eat a lot, we're going for it. We're here. Well, we've been here, but now we're sitting down for our tasting. We're starting out with a glass of white wine, but I just love the shape of these wine glasses. Look at how cute this is. I feel like I really want to buy some of these. Anyways, I'm sure it's going to be light and refreshing and delicious. Ooh, it's so good. Kind of, I don't actually know what kind of wine it is. It says Vermentito di Toscana. So, but it kind of tastes like Chardonnay to me, but like a really good one. Jenny has been preparing me for this moment for at least two or three years. I am not the biggest wine fan, but every now and then she'll be like, here, try this wine, try this one. And now I... I don't know if I'm a fan, but I will absolutely enjoy this day. I mean, it's Jenny's day anyway, since this is her dream. You're gonna love it. It's very light and mild, so I feel like you'll enjoy it. Oh, yeah, I do enjoy that. <laughs> oh my Here we have a Parmesan cheese fondue with, it looks like, spinach. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. And, of course, an egg, I think. They have paired our wine with each dish. I think we're having a four course meal, so we're having like four different wines with four different foods. I mean, cheese fondue, it feels like you can't go wrong with that, right? It's very yolky. It was cooked at 62 degrees, probably How Celsius. To eat this? Honestly, it just kind of looks like an egg with spinach. We're trying to be fancier these days, but I don't think it's working out too well. How am I supposed to cut the, how am I supposed to cut the spinach? This is a mess. This is not my fault. I'm honestly kind of scared to try this. 
It's egg and spinach. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, I will enjoy the food and you'll enjoy the wine. How's that sound? <laughs> this cannot be your first oh, reaction. Actually so bad. <laughs> no way. I think it's gonna be just fine. I promise you right now. You are not going to like it. It's literally raw spinach. Okay, I don't egg. I don't know if it's spinach. Let me look at the menu here. It's chicory, sorry. It says chicory. It's it egg. looks really cute, but let me tell you. We just may not be fancy enough yet to enjoy this, but I'm gonna give it a try. I think it's gonna be delicious. He's not gonna like it. Ooh, it's well, literally like the just yolk. there's no spices, it's just egg. It, So bad. That's good. He's lying. It's supposed to pair with the wine. I just really thought that it was gonna be cheese. It said cheese. Where's the cheese? That's delicious. Jacob, there's no way you're enjoying that. He's lying. I don't believe him. If this is what tasting like a billionaire tastes like, I don't wanna be one. What about millionaire? It would just be millionaires. The wine is delicious, and I'm just confused how this is a Parmesan cheese fondue. It's eggs with some leaf. Oh, it's so good. I liked it so much, I'm now eating some of Jenny's. In reality, yes, she was right. There's not really a lot of seasoning. I don't know if it's because you're supposed to salt it yourself, but I used the salt shaker, and I like it even more. It's fine that he took mine, because I'm going to take his wine. These wine glasses are pretty big, though. Like. They're bigger than I thought they were going to be for like wine tasting. I've never been wine tasting, but I thought they would just give you a little tiny bit. But this is actually kind of substantial. We got our second wines here. Uh, don't let Jenny be the expert and tell you if it's dry or wet or whatnot. <laughs> but <laughs> can you have wet wine? You can't? Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, this is the red wine. I personally prefer white wine because I think it's usually sweeter. And I already tried this. I do think that, uh, I mean, I definitely don't hate it. I prefer the white wine better though. We got some different shaped wine glasses going on. I'm really into it. Guys, also I need to say, I am not a tough food critic. Like, if you watch any of our food tours, I'm the one that's always like, this is amazing. And Jacob's like, it's fine. So let that just speak for itself. First try of the new wine. We got a red wine this time, and red wine's kind of my favorite, so. And I also really like, like, just the fun glasses. This one's a Chianti? Yep, Chianti Classico. I think it's very dry, has very good flavor to it. Some nice fruity notes. Oh yeah, you know all about that, huh? Yeah. Okay, we got some pasta now. I'm really hoping this is redemption from the first course. It's wild boar sauce. I have definitely never had that in my life before, so let's give it a try. Yeah, the wild boar ragu with rosemary. Hmm. Hmm. It kind of tastes like a beef stew on noodles. It is very good. Definitely better than the first course. I think that it's pretty good. I would say it's better than the first course that we had. <laughs> <laughs> this panchari pasta is so interesting. I just looked it up and it translates to slaps. So like, I think it's probably just because of the way that the noodle is formed and it slaps in your mouth. Mm. Listen to that slap. This didn't have like a ton of flavor, but then we added salt to it and it made it really great. We've got our third wine here. This one is made 100% from Chianti, which means the grapes, 100%, everything is from this region that we're in right here. These wine glasses are a lot bigger than our last ones. So it looks like we just got a little tiny bit, but it's actually quite a lot. So let's give it a try. Hmm. It's very sweet at the beginning and then tart at the end. I feel like the last one would just felt like dry a little bit, but still very good. But this one has a little bit more like flavor to it, I guess, and it kind of changes. I don't know if that's normal, but I really like it. If it tastes like grape juice, it is for me. It doesn't taste like grape juice. Oh. We have some pork with white bean cream. The pork is super, super tender. I feel like 
pork usually is a little bit harder to chew, but this one is super easy. It doesn't have a ton of taste, but oh, these bees are everywhere. But it's still pretty good. Man, I am really, really full. Usually, we are not on our second meal of the day this early. I mean, it's like 2 p.m. right now, but usually we're eating like breakfast right about now. Wow, I mean, the pork, pretty solid. Uh, red wine, I think it's a... Uh, it's my favorite of the two red wines that we've had. And I'm just reminded that we have a wine cellar tour after we finish up with this food and wine. And so we're looking forward to that. This wine is 30 minutes away. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. It's the furthest wine away that we've gotten here. Most of them are just like five, 10 minutes away. Honestly, we or can- Or even right here. Yeah, we can see the vineyards. So this one is the furthest away. It's a very sweet. I don't usually love sweet wines, so I'm a little bit nervous. It's so sweet. Honestly, Jacob's probably gonna love it. Well, it's for our dessert. It tastes like mm, apple cider, but like a little bit sweeter. That's Jacob, perfect. Jacob will definitely like it. Well, and that's why it's paired with the tiramisu. Right, it makes sense. Yeah, we're having a very traditional Italian meal where you eat one course and you finish it and then you get the next one. We wanted to keep the bread out here and the olive oil because we wanted to have that like maybe after our dessert, but they were waiting on us to finish up our bread before they actually served us this course. We got our tiramisu in our little pot. <laughs> I think that's so funny. Everybody's getting it and just at all the tables around us and they're just, when it comes to the table, they're like, what is this? If we don't eat this quick, then we are going to miss our cellar tour. So let's dig in. Perfect with the really sweet wine. That one's my favorite so far. I just really love the presentation. I don't generally love tiramisu, but I feel like this one might be a little different. Mm. Mm. It's good for the digestive system because it has espresso in it. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, I definitely enjoyed the food and the wine that we had. And now we're headed out to the winery, I guess the wine cellar, where they're gonna tell us a lot more context about what we just drank. We are definitely late, but those two and a half hours of lunch just flew right by. We were just enjoying it so much, just getting to look out at all the scenery, have all the food and drink. Now we're looking for the entrance to the wine cellar and we can't find it. In case anyone thinks wine tasting is glorious, my feet are covered in dirt as we walk to the next place. <laughs> Looks like we might have found it. We made it just five minutes late, so pretty good. This wine bottle is my kind of wine bottle. It's like five of my heads. At the start of this wine tour, our guide told us about the family that owns this vineyard. They've been around since 1435, the year, the year 1435. They're in the 25th generation of the family that's just had all of these acres of grapes that they can make into wine. After we got the introduction and before we got to try five wines that are made here, we got to see how the grapes are turned into wine. We started out with like going downstairs and seeing like these huge containers where all of the grapes from like one acre are like put into one of these like, I don't know, they're like steel containers. And then we walked down even further and and then we got to see all the barrels. One of the large barrels can hold up to like 500 milliliters of grapes. And that was really interesting to see. And they dug all the way down into the ground and like found this natural area. It helps with the humidity and the temperature. And it makes the wine taste yummier and age better. And then we got to try out the wine. There were five of them and they were all like pretty expensive and we really really liked them jenny what do you think the wine was incredibly delicious though if i'm being honest i don't know if it was actually better than the two dollar three dollar wine that we've gotten at the grocery stores here in italy i think it's better than the two dollar ones but of course like it was 20 times the price so they were like 200 dollars, and i could get a legit bottle of wine for two dollars in italy so Look at how beautiful everywhere we are is. There's 
vines, there's mountains, there's trees. This is what I imagine Tuscany to be. It is so beautiful and I'm so, so, so happy that we're here. I didn't know a hike was included with this wine tour. I've had like 10 wines today, I <laughs> think. I'm so tired and walking up this hill is insane. So was this experience worth it? It was expensive. It was $100 per person for the food and for the wine tour, but it was definitely worth it. I mean, we might not ever go to another winery again in Tuscany. And so once in a lifetime experience, I think it's just like worth the price. In our next video, we are staying in Tuscany, but we're going to Siena, a bigger city here. So thank you so much for watching this one and we'll hope to see you there.